Hi guys, welcome back to the Drive Life channel and today you join me in uh, not so great circumstances you'll notice we've got the hazard lights on I'm driving at 30 miles an hour on a 60 mile an hour ring road um, Now the reason for that is, is that we're stuck in third gear we had an ABS fault to come up and um, the car's not changing gear so if I accelerate we just stay in that gear which obviously isn't ideal for the car because it's um, just revved a lot. So it's, um, yeah, not not ideal. So we're, we're limping out of the, the main roads <laughs> to try and pull over and assess our options. <laughs> we're even in manual mode, so you can see here that the gear shift is not doing anything. Um, we were stuck in second a second ago and I managed to get it into third, but now, yeah, it's not changing at all, so not ideal um, at all. And we're probably about 20 miles from home, which is great. So what I'm gonna try and do is pull over, hopefully the, um, cause yeah, look, we're in third now, we're going 10 miles an hour, and you really don't have much throttle response. We'll pull up here. Okay, so we'll put it in park. Turn the car off. <laughs> Turn the hazards off, yeah. Oh dear. Um, <laughs> Winter breakdown saga. Start it again. You can't have two breakdowns in one year. Okay. It's not allowed. There's one annual breakdown, that's all I allow. Okay, so put it in drive. Start wrong. ABS light is still on. Got the traction control light, isn't it? Okay, let's start driving. Okay, ABS lights have gone off. Let's see how long it lasts before it stops. Gearbox is now oh, working doing, absolutely fine. It's doing, oh no. Yep, gearbox oh, yeah. is absolutely fine. And then suddenly you'll get an ABS fault. Um, and the bloody thing doesn't want to change gear anymore. Now it's obviously. Um, Ah, we just had a, a slight judder then. So I'm thinking what's happening here is there's a there's an ABS sensor. Well, I know I know it's an ABS sensor. I've had a code for the front right ABS sensor cropping up recently. Um, and I think what's happening is that's really there's um I think it's wearing through that these things can wear through on these cars, um, causing a short, and then so freaking out the whole ABS module um, because it'll all be on the same circuit. Um, if it's a short, then the ABS module will lose um, contact with the rest of the car, um, and then you get that. <laughs> so you, you then can't change gear, which isn't very clever. Um, but I suppose it is what it is. Uh, so we're fortunately we're actually worst case scenario. We can, yeah. Um, sorry, I thought you were going to say something. Um, which is my parents' house, but. I'd like to get home, <laughs> and ironically, we've now <laughs> we've had a bit of a day of it. The smart car failed its MOT today. Um, first, first time it's been running for the past six months after we've rebuilt the wiring loom, um, resoldered the ECU, and put that back together. Um, it's yeah, it's been a hell of a day for cars. Um, so that's failed on our suspension arm, so we need to put that right. And just all parts for that, but. Um, it looks like I'll probably be adding a wheel speed sensor to our collection of parts that we're ordering as well. I mean, you can see at the moment it's it's running absolutely fine. Um, Does it add noise? Yeah, <laughs> it because, it down, you, you it? crack on, don't you? Yeah, and it's we've just been playing golf, haven't we? And then um, so we pulled out day. the golf golf place and it's absolutely fine. And then it's yeah. We all, I, don't know if I will just say we were playing on a driving range, we weren't just like wandering around a golf course in the dark. No. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear, as I'm steering, there's a clunky. That's not what I, do I don't know if you'll hear that, it's like subtle, isn't it? There's a, yeah, everyone, everyone's quiet around, just round about, we'll do it, let's see. Ready? There you go, that noise. That's coming from the front left, I think. 
<laughs> so um, I think it's about time we took a good look at what's happening at the front end of this car. Um, it's getting to the age now as well where we're going to get wires chafing, uh, which is my biggest concern because having had to redo the smart card wiring, I really don't want to have to do this car as well. Um, but it's not a fun, a fun job to do. So um, yeah, I'll uh, let you know, let you guys know whether we end up on a flatbed um, or whether we can make it home okay. But fingers crossed, we'll make it, we'll limp it home um, and then get get a plan together of how we can fix it. I mean, if the smart car passes its MOT on Monday, we'll all be good. Um, and I might have to borrow Mrs. DL's Jeep tomorrow because I've got something I've got to go and do. Um, so, fingers crossed. Oh, did you hear that? That's a big clunk as we drove off. There's definitely something not right. Three. See, it's doing it fine now. <laughs> That's really annoying. <laughs> it's just, it's just it's filming it. Stuck in second in a 60 mile hour. Well, it's more like people do 70 down there, don't they? But yeah, yeah, it's one of those roads. It's that's stuck just dead at like straight. 20 miles an hour in second. Driving along with your hands on, which is embarrassing because everybody who knows us will recognise my number plate straight away. So I like, all right, tit. <laughs> I'll leave you guys there, but we'll let you know how we get on. Um, if this is the end of the video, we made it home. If not, then, uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> then you'll see the rest of the video. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs> that one wasn't as good.